Hello, Anton from Michael Meals. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thank you, Nadex, for inviting us to do this. You can see in the background the logo with the 70. Last year was our 70th birthday. Uh, we were going to have a big shindig at Nadex. Uh, we were one of the main sponsors and we had loads of things planned. It didn't happen. COVID happened instead. Uh, we were going to spend a bit of time talking about the 70th birthday. Uh, Massive for any business, I suppose, that, that, that to have that longevity. Uh, it might make us the oldest in the world in, in the industry uh, of converting and adapting vehicles for disabled drivers and passengers. Definitely the oldest in the UK and Ireland. Uh, as a third generation company, trying to keep the values uh, from, from 1950 of customer service uh, and uh, making adaptations at that time and then on to wheelchair accessible vehicles, making fit for purpose vehicles, making the best that we possibly can. So thanks Nadex and thank you for, for tuning in. Uh, over the next uh, 20 or 25 minutes, we're gonna go through what we're gonna describe as uh, choosing your next wheelchair accessible vehicle. When it comes to choosing your next wheelchair accessible vehicle, what we have tried to do is break things down into a series of steps to help you uh, you might be using mobility. You might be purchasing privately, new or second hand. You might be watching this from uh, the angle of a care provider, uh, commercial or taxi. Uh, whatever your needs are, we hope to break things down and show you a few wheelchair accessible vehicles uh, that uh, will help you decide what your next WAV might be and talk you through the process for the things you need to bear in mind. Whether you're buying privately or using mobility, the vehicle itself, the WAV is going to be the same. So if you were going to phone a converter like ourselves or look through our website, you'll see a range of vehicles. There, there are quite a lot of vehicles. Actually, if we go back to mobility, there are about 650 WAVs uh, listed on mobility. And what you might want to do is filter them to help you work out which vehicle is going to suit you. On Motability website, you can search for wheelchair accessible vehicles and then you can filter. You can filter by converter name, which is Mac and Meals, obviously. Uh, you can uh, filter by make or model of vehicle and you can filter by WAV size. So there's four WAV sizes. There's small, medium small, medium large and large. So with 650 vehicles on the Motability website, how do you decide which size you need? Well, if you phone Michael Meals, uh, what we'll do is we'll talk you through the, the wheelchair user, uh, head height, eye line, uh, any concerns about the nature of the disability uh, in terms of where the wheelchair needs to be positioned in the car. Uh, we'll also be talking about width of the wheelchair, length of the wheelchair, weight, all the kind of things just to get the base information. We'll also need to understand how many seats you need uh, and again, then we'll probably ask questions about uh, if you're using mobility, mobility grants, etc. So we'll help you narrow down to try and ascertain what kind of a size of a car. Some people only want a small vehicle, some people only want a large vehicle. So there's quite a few things, but we will talk you through a series of questions and ascertain where you want to start. Mobility is uh, the main way people will access a wheelchair accessible vehicle. Uh, it's a fantastic resource. It's a global leader. Uh, between the benefits system and the way it works and mobility, the way they work and put uh, a resource together, it's, it's, the world is envious of it. Uh, it's something that we as converters are very proud to be uh, a supplier to. Another thing to, to be aware of, obviously, is mobility grants. Two separate parts, uh, and with mobility grants, it's a means-tested uh, resource that might help uh, support you for the advanced payment. This is particularly helpful when it comes to wheelchair accessible vehicles as the APs uh, can range from, I think the cheapest around 1,000, 1,300, and that figure can go up uh, way above 10,000, depending on, on what somebody's conversion needs are and also adaptation needs. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it into the four different types of vehicles to give you an idea of, of what they are, the four different sizes. So let's look at the small WAV. Um, there's the Peugeot Partner, Citroen Berlingo. Uh, our, our flagship small vehicle is the Ford Connect. We call it the Free. It's an absolutely fantastic vehicle. Uh, small enough to be nippy and, and good for parking, big enough to take a good size wheelchair. Actually, a lot of headroom in a small vehicle. Uh, 
whenever we're doing our R&D, we're always trying to maximize what you can do in terms of the, the, the wheelchair space. We try and have as low a possible ramp angle. We try and trim off the inside that it's nice and warm and comfortable and, and it minimizes the noise. Uh, we want to make sure that the seat belt, uh, the upper anchorage point, everything's worked. We maximize the space, we maximize the head height. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a wee video of the, the free here and uh, let you see it for yourself. And that's your small vehicle. As I say, Citroen Berlingo, Peugeot Partner, and the Free, the, the Ford Connect. Going to the medium small, it's not a big jump. Uh, it's just a little bit extra space, maybe an extra seat. Uh, so we have got the Grand Connect, which we call the Flexi. Now there are other vehicles in the class. There are other conversions of a, of a Grand Connect. There's the Caddy as well, and the extra long Berlingo or Partner. So it is a, it's a bigger array of vehicles. Uh, talking about our own car, we're going to have a little look at a video of this. When designing this, what we wanted to do is give an inclusive wheelchair position. Uh, we wanted to again maximise the head height, the eye line. Uh, so again, have a look at this video. You can see the two seats in the rear are standard. You can see the, the flat floor, the nice low angled ramp. Uh, and it's just a bit bigger than the free, but not, not going up to the to this medium large size of vehicle. So again, we'll have a look at this. So that's the Flexi. Uh, let's, before we go on actually, before we go on to medium large vehicles, uh, let's introduce somebody to brighten the, to brighten the mood. Uh, we're developing uh, products and we're developing vehicles and we've asked for a bit of help in, uh, in spreading the news, telling you a little bit about them. Uh, so here to introduce the automatic ramp. Well, look for yourself, here's Wabman. Hi, I'm Wabman. If you need some help when opening and closing your ramp, you could call for a superhero, someone with special powers to open and close the ramp for you. But if that superhero gets distracted, there's always Michael Meal Mobility. Introducing WAV supporting adaptations for Michael Meal Mobility Services. There's WAV man. Uh, hope you liked it. Something a bit different. Uh, we are constantly uh, innovating. Uh, we have got a lot of new products and on the go. Uh, a lot of R&D. We're always trying to uh, improve what we offer uh, and come up with new ideas and look at what we can. Uh, so Wabman's helping us spread the news uh, and that was with the, the automatic ramp. Okay, going back to the four sizes of vehicles. Next is the medium large. Uh, the medium large is uh, it's the biggest uh, range of vehicles. We have got the Citroen Space Tour, we have got the Ford Custom. One of the most common things that's, that we will hear uh, is people describe Ford Customs as be from the outside. There was two on the outside. There is a, an L1 and an L2, long wheelbase and a short wheelbase. But inside, there's a lot of difference. So I can imagine how confusing this might be. Uh, so we're just going to try and uh, take it uh, one step at a time. The next video you're going to see is a clip of all our custom videos, which you can see again on the website, mobility-services.com. Uh, we have a large range of customs. We've just found it a very adaptable vehicle. Uh, there are two sizes, the L1, and we have got the family and the freestyle. And in the L2, we have got the freeway, the fortitude, the duet, and uh, coming now, uh, a new release, the highway. 
So as you can see, here's the family. Uh, the family is the original uh, Ford Custom on the Motability site for uh, wheelchair accessible vehicles in, the, in this new uh, version. Uh, we brought it onto the scheme quite a while ago now. Uh, we just try to make it as much of a lowered floor as possible. We want to maintain the flat floor. Uh, what you'll notice is we've got the newer molded seats there because in the past people have just asked for Big, uh, wider seats and, and, and that's what we have delivered. A nice low angled ramp, very good eye line uh, and all the, the, the things that come with the, the Ford Custom Torneo. The freestyle is a bit different so what you're doing is you're bringing the wheelchair in behind the, the driver's seat, gives you a quick access from uh, the sliding door at the side or indeed what feedback we've got is Quite often when people are out having a, a picnic uh, and they might want to risk uh, taking the wheelchair out in the rain, you can bring the wheelchair uh, up to that level where you can see out uh, straight out the side door. So again, a very inclusive vehicle, very family orientated. Uh, so those are the short wheelbase. Uh, here's the long wheelbase custom. And again, what you'll see is the freeway, very similar to the freestyle uh, in, in the style of ramp and utilizing just what you'll have now is a row of three seats in the middle. Uh, then you have the Fortitude. Fortitude is something slightly different. So you have got a gate ramp with the Fortitude, which allows you to access the rear uh, space very well and maximizes the amount of original seats uh, internally. Uh, to have the wheelchair space, you can just tip up the seats. You don't have to remove them. The vehicle not having a cut floor means you can also have a tow hitch. The Duet uh, has two wheelchair spaces. It uh, uses the same ramping system as the, the Fortitude. So again, you can access the, the rear of the vehicle very quickly. And then our new vehicle. Uh, in, in response to people asking for a vehicle with a lift, with a lift you want to, with a lowered floor you're getting more head height. So with a lift you want to have a, a high roof vehicle without having to go to the larger vehicle. So this is, this is the highway. Uh, the fourth section is large vehicles and we actually don't have anything to show you. We don't do large vehicles. Uh, more and more people are looking for the mid-sized vehicles and a lot of vehicles in the past would have come as vans uh, and been built upwards. Nowadays, and again on the strength of the, the mobility market, vehicles come to us as people carriers and we convert them from that. So they come with their original trim and their, their factory fitted windows and they come with all the mod cons. So uh, most of our vehicles are in the mid, mid range, the, the small, medium and the, the larger mediums. So that rounds up the assisted WAVs, so the main WAVs that we'll talk about. There's also then the unassisted WAVs uh, and these are vehicles which are either described as an internal transfer or a drive from. An internal transfer is one that you will come into the vehicle on your own uh, in a wheelchair and then you will transfer from the wheelchair into the driving seat or into the front passenger uh, and you don't travel necessarily in your wheelchair. A drive from is something you can come into independently and drive from the wheelchair. Those are very detailed and as you can expect, the, the cost of those rises quite a bit. So if you are utilizing Motability and hope to apply for the grant, these are a little bit different than the standard grants. Uh, there is a, these are complex solutions. There is a complex solutions team. So if you are uh, going for a grant for an internal transfer or a drive from, uh, phone up Motability and discuss this first. Uh, they will help arrange uh, with converters like ourselves, arrange appointments to go out and have that support because it is a, it is a very bespoke uh, solution. We do offer uh, an internal transfer option uh, uh, with the Ford Custom. Actually, let's take a look at Wavman again and, and let's see how, we've seen the auto ramp in the, in the internal transfer. Let's see the auto tailgate and see how Wavman uh, works. I'm Wavman. If you need help when opening and closing your tailgate, you could call for a superhero, someone with special powers to open and close the tailgate for you. But if that superhero gets distracted, there's always Michael Mills. 
Introducing WAV supporting adaptations from Michael Meal Mobility Services. The auto tailgate with independent open and closed functions and dual action lock gives you an enhanced seal around the tailgate for maximum comfort and minimum noise. Michael Meal Mobility Services. Innovative products, excellent customer service. So if there isn't a superhero about to, to do these things, there is Michael Meals. Uh, and I suppose that's what, what Michael Meals have, have made their name for, uh, their innovation uh, of the vehicles uh, and also our customer service. We, we hold customer service as one of our key pillars. Uh, customer service just isn't about uh, being helpful and supportive through the order process. It's about understanding the needs of the customer and, and getting out there and, and being there for them if something uh, goes wrong. In wheelchair accessible vehicles, no matter how hard we all try, uh, there are, we are cutting the back out of a car. So therefore, there is more likely for things to need, need help with. Uh, so with, with our sales, we have a, an after sales, committed after sales team who are out in the road all the time. Uh, we're doing WAV checks uh, just regularly, but also then if need be for the service calls. Uh, now, like anything, we're not perfect. Uh, we try really, really hard, and we'll do whatever it takes to get to the end and, and solve any, any problem. So uh, it, it's worth bearing in mind, it's that wee bit of peace of mind. 650 vehicles, a lot to choose from, four different sizes, 13 different converters, lowered floors, different A-lines, ramps, lifts. There is a lot to choose from, but don't, don't worry, don't panic. It is a matter of simplifying things. It is a matter of taking things one step at a time. And in the future, uh, we don't know what vehicles we'll be using. Uh, we're constantly doing R&D, uh, constantly looking at uh, developing our vehicles, our existing vehicles, and looking for new vehicles. Uh, there's new fuel sources, whether it's electric or hydrogen or anything in between. Uh, we've got a finger on the pulse, so we are constantly looking at that, uh, innovating, uh, new products using smart technology uh, and, and just moving with the times and trying to make sure that uh, as the, the, the market moves forward that wheelchair accessible vehicles move forward as well. If you're still here, thank you very much. I hope the video has been informative and a little amusing. Uh, hopefully very soon uh, there'll be an exhibition, NEDX 2021, NEDX 2022. We'll have a bit of a party. We'll be able to celebrate that, that 70th birthday. Uh, Michael Meals are committed to making your journey as easy as possible, not just for picking the WAV and getting the WAV delivered, but for the lifetime of you using wheelchair accessible vehicles. We want you to be happy and we want you to be supported. If there's anything at all we can do, give us a phone. All the way through the process, we are there. We have experts at hand. Uh, so before we sign off, we're going to have a few words with the man behind WAV Man. WAV Man. Uh, we'd like to start off, that's a very sinister voice. I thought they said they wanted Batman sorted, so I just come up with that there. Where did Wavman come from? Last year, I came down here to Michael Mills and I was looking for a taxi, wheelchair taxi. And I thought to myself, I come down to see Connor. And uh, I came down and they were all talking about their 70th birthday. And I thought, that's a big thing, you know, 70. And I thought, maybe, you know, what, can I do something? And I said to Connor, we're just chatting, I know Connor, now Connor's deadly, so he is like, kind of, he's, he's a good man. I said to him, I says, here, have you got a, one of those, like, uh, uh, what do you call those boys? Um, and, and, and I come up with, I come up with a superhero. And he said, no, no, he, should have, he obviously hasn't got a superhero. And I says, tell you what, you give me a bit of a discount in your taxi, and, and I'll be a superhero. So that's, that's how it all came about. That's a great costume. How did you come up with it? Oh, my wee mad on that for me. I just bought a, a W up one way and an M the other way. I just thought that'd be deadly. Thanks, Kate. Will Wavman join us at some of the shows coming up? Whenever this was a good idea at the very, very start, I thought to myself, I'll give this an old rattle. But see now, I think this is one of the worst ideas I've ever had. You know what's going to happen to me whenever I go back in the taxi rank up in Belfast? All my mates are going to be laughing at me. So I thought to myself, no, nope, I'll do it. But I'm not doing it again. Well, thank you, Wavman. And thanks for taking the time to talk to us and again help us with our videos. And thanks to Nadex one last time. Thanks for watching this. And if you want to get in contact, you'll just see the details on the website. You can go on to www.mobility-service.com 
And you can also phone us on 02837 525 333. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care.